Welcome to another video from inzara.com. In this video, we will be doing a walkthrough tour of the digital product catalog designed for small businesses. You can create your own product catalog with your own product data using this simple Excel template. So what you're seeing on screen is the output, the product catalog that is built automatically by the template. The first important highlight of the feature is that it's very simple to set it up. So all you need would be to go to the input data sheet. You can enter your own product categories. The template supports 20 product categories. So here I have entered six different categories. Second step is to enter your product data. So here I've entered the product name, price, category, and we can also enter some key bullet points or highlights about the product. We can put a link to the product. We also have a couple of columns that you can rename and then repurpose as you need. You can change the thumbnail images for each of the product. All you have to do is to right click it, change the picture, and then you can choose your own uh, file from your uh, computer to replace the product thumbnail image. The version that you will download, they will not be the sample data, so you can actually start entering your own data, but I'm just using a sample file just for illustration in this video. So once you update the thumbnail images and put in your product data, your catalog is ready. That's as simple as it is. Enter product categories, enter product information, that's it. Go to product catalog, now you will see a fully functional interactive product catalog. Now let's talk about the catalog experience. You have the banner at the top or the logo, and then you have a text or a tagline for your business. So I can just type in here and then change it um, for you know your business's tagline. So that's how simple it is to customize the catalog. You have the filtering option by category. So if I don't want to see um, school um, as a product category products for that. I can just click on that and you saw that the um, school related product um, disappears from the catalog. So I can choose multiple categories if I need or one at a time. And then the next option you see that it shows how many products totally match my criteria of selection and since there are 28 products I have entered here I can actually scroll through to see the second from 11 to 20 because it displays 10 products at a time. So I can see 11 to 20 and then I can go to the third page where I will see eight. And if I try to go to the fourth page, there'll be nothing because there are no more products to show. So that's how I can see 10 products at a time, but I can scroll to see more products as I need. Then you have the search option where you can actually type in a word. Let me type in project, hit enter. Now it will show only the products whose name um, have the word project in it. So that's how simple it is. If I try type heat map, then it will pull up the products with the word heat map in its name. Now I'm gonna hit delete key so that I remove my search criteria so I can see all the products again. And now I can sort by the price or by the name. So right now it is sorted by price. You see that $10 and all that. And now if I change it descending, now you see that there is um, the more expensive product will be at the, at the beginning. I can also do it by name. So if I sort it by name in alphabetical order, or I can do the reverse alphabetical order by name as well, where U comes and then T and all that. So that's how the, um, the sort functionality works. So overall, you can filter, scroll, search, sort, all of that. It's all readily built. As soon as you enter your product data, you have this functional catalog. An additional part of the catalog experience is you can actually view um, each product specific detail page. So once I view, once I clicked view, it opens me the sheet and this has the highlights of that specific product. So if you remember, if I go back to my catalog, so the catalog is 
only showing me the key attributes at the high level, but when I click on view, I can see more specific details about that product. You can also put a link to a specific page, a web page that will link customized to the specific product. So if I'm, if I'm clicking on this link, it will take me to the specific web page for this product. So how is all that working? So if you remember in the input data, we are basically providing the necessary inputs on, this is the web link for this product. These are the highlights for the product. So this information automatically goes to this page for the product. Now let's talk about the third important highlight of this template, which is the customization options you have. So for example, on the far right here, you see the display order customization. So you can actually choose uh, from those fields, those five fields in the product information here. So if you remember in the input data, we had two extra custom columns. So you can put in whatever attribute that you want to track for the product, and you can make that appear. Display order here, name, category, price, name, category, price. So if I want the price to come in second, I can change that, and then I can change this to be the category. So you'll see that the name, price, and category. So this is how you can customize the order of display of the attributes, and also what attributes should be included. So you have a couple of extra options that you can customize and then choose to display on the catalog. The other types of customization are, you can just select these and if you want them to be in a different font, so all you have to do is to, you can just choose a different font. Uh, all the Excel features of font, color, you know, all of that formatting features are retained, so you can still customize it to your need. If you would like to change the background at the top, you can just choose it and then choose a different color and you can change it. So pretty much it is designed to make it easy for you to have your own customized catalog without having to redevelop um, on your own. To summarize, this template is designed to help small businesses create an interactive digital catalog with as little time spent as possible in entering data or developing it. Enter your data, within minutes you are ready with your catalog, which you can use to interactively search or sort or filter your products and also see detailed highlights of each product in an interactive and an easy to use way. If you have any questions about the features of this template, please post them in the comments. I'll be very glad to respond. You can get this template from inzara.com. I'll be posting a link to the product page in the video description below. There is also a free version of the template which is available with limited features and limited number of products. I will also provide a link to that. If you have only a few products, you might be able to just use that free template for your needs. If you have more than 30 products, then you would need the premium version. So I'll put the links to both those uh, in the video description. Thank you very much for watching.